Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another episode of The Trade Take. Last week, women's basketball. This week, we moved to women's volleyball. I'm sitting here with head coach Missy Sobolewski. Coach, really appreciate you taking the time and uh, joining us today. Thanks for having us, Trey. So, Coach, I know COVID-19 has really put us into a troubling time uh, this past summer and into the months of this fall. Uh, what kind of precautions have you taken for yourself and uh, for your family over this uh, COVID-19 pandemic? Um, you know, I don't think anybody ever in their lifetime, in our lifetimes, thought something like this would happen. But, um, you know, we did what everybody was, you know, basically telling us to do. Um, mm-hmm. In the beginning, it was a little more scary. I have I have kids, so it was it was um, trying to keep them. Mm-hmm keep them in the house and keep them away from people and stay masked up. And um, so we did that. And, you know, just over the time as things have opened up, mm-hmm. we've kind of gone with the flow a little bit, but we're mm-hmm. still really cautious, you know, um, as best we can, you mm-hmm. know, it's, um, it's definitely a different time right now. So you talk about you, you have kids as well and being quarantined over the summer, uh, you know, really kind of put a damper on things for us to go out. How was it, uh, you know, to spend more time with your kids? Because sometimes during the season and over the summer with camp and recruiting, you really don't get to have that option sometimes. You know what? It was, it was, it was very nice. We had that time to together and we didn't have a choice. We didn't have to make the choice of, you know, family time, or we don't have time for family time. So it was a lot of family time, which was, which was great. My kids are a little bit older. Mm-hmm. My last, uh, the set of twins are going to be going off to college next year. So it was mm-hmm. nice to spend a lot of time. It was great to have my daughter home mm-hmm. from college for probably, I think it was like five, six months. So it was, mm-hmm. it was really nice to have everybody home and not a lot to do. So a lot of time to just spend together. Right. And, you know, I wish the best for you and your family to hope to stay safe and moving over to the volleyball aspect. You, you're going into your 16th year as head coach. And like you said, COVID-19 has really put a troubling time on us. How have you kept your coaching staff and yourself prepared for a possible season this spring? You know, it's pretty easy to keep us fo- focused on a possible season because it's so badly what we want to be able to do. Mm-hmm, right. uh, Lee and I are just uh, you know, itching to get our team back on the court, but we understand and, and we're nervous about – um, COVID as much as um, they are and as their parents are. So we're we're um, a little torn because it's what we love to do. I've been doing it for 25 years, I think now. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time I haven't, uh, this is the first time August has been. <laughs> so August for me is normal. Right, right. Like As normal people would say, I haven't been mm-hmm. able to, you know, do anything in August other than preseason, which is usually mm-hmm. The month of August is a blur for me, but it's something that I love. I love preseason. I love just mm-hmm. being um, surrounded and entrenched in, in what we do on the court. So it's it's not hard to keep us motivated. Mm-hmm. Right. And like you said, you've had a lot of free time. And going into your team, but you guys are very young, but very talented and experienced. And the group you have coming back, what are your expectations for them? Uh, a team that's been knows what it takes to make to the PSA uh, PSAC playoffs. You know, um, we are young, but we have, you know, a senior class of five and three of those, three of those girls are returning starters for, I think, four years. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, everybody, you know, looks to CC Mm -hmm. uh, Sierra to be a a major force. She's been a force in the PSAC and one of the top hitters in the PSAC since she's Mm -hmm. been a freshman. Right. Um, uh, we're we're just excited to get back on the court. We're excited for the opportunity to possibly play in in the end of December, January ish. So mm-hmm. we're fingers crossed that that uh, that mm-hmm. we get COVID under under wraps or controlled in some way that we can get our our seniors their their last season that they so desperately want. I mean, Molly's been a three uh, four year starter as our libero. Mm-hmm. Um, that girl just um, lives and breathes. Um, pressure and passing and Mm -hmm. and controlling that backcourt for us. You know, Paige has been a a three-year starter as a middle Mm -hmm. blocker, big, big jumper, Mm -hmm. uh, big nemesis at the net for attackers on the other side. So Mm -hmm. um, we're just, we're hoping for our season that, uh, you know, we've got Hannah B and Jess who've been integral as going Mm -hmm. into the season as well. So we're just hoping for them that they, they get this season in. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you named just a couple of your players and, 
you talk, like I said, you talk about a talented, but a very senior group coming back. Sierra Jackson, Elisa Eldridge, uh, PSAC honorable mentions last year, and you mentioned Molly Breer as well, but also Bella Borelli, one of, another hitter who's really grown as a freshman her first year. What do what production do they need to have to have another run at a playoff berth this coming spring? Well, they just need to play confident. They need to play um, risk free. Um, mm -hmm. Just play um, play to win. Mm -hmm. and play with confidence. Um, Leash, I couldn't ask for a, a more competitive setter. Mm -hmm. Very high volleyball IQ, um, extremely aggressive, which means it's going to put all the other oppo opposition teams mm -hmm. on the, the edge a little bit because she's so offensive as a setter. She dishes great balls. She plays mm -hmm. good defense. So she, she just is uh, the type of setter that your coaches dream. Mm -hmm. um, Bella, having her back, she just um, such a team player, um, just fun to coach, um, just a, a, a great kid with just loves to play volleyball. She just loves the sport. Um, and, you know, what tell you the truth, she's, she's pretty darn funny. So um, she always brings a little bit of comedy to some pressure situations. So uh, and then Sally Sturkel, Sally Sturkel, a big 6'2". She went from the middle to the right side, mm -hmm. so um, puts up a nice um, right side block. So, I mean, we just need performance from everybody mm -hmm. at a high level, um, and we'll be in the run for a playoff berth. Mm -hmm. And, Coach, just one more thing. I don't want to take too much more of your time. Uh, you know, you, you have a lot of weapons coming back. You have a, you know, a great set, and you guys are very eager to get back onto the floor. What are your expectations for Coach Soboleski volleyball team? Our expectations are um, are high because of I expect them to work hard, right? Um, and they do work hard. Um, we will give it. Lee and I will give it all mentally to them, and mm -hmm. and coaching standpoint, we'll put them in the best light that we possibly can for them to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, we'll give them the best um, information, um, training, and a path to success that's achievable. Mm -hmm. um, and we just need to be better in the sixty by thirty than. Mm -hmm. than the other team and we have the ability to do that so well coach I, I really appreciate you taking the time being on here with us today uh your team is very talented and uh really can't wait to see you guys come this spring hopefully we do have a season like you said hopefully those seniors can have that season uh just best of luck to you coach hey thanks Trey I really appreciate it yep have a good day you too